So you have a on Roku TV and you have an issue with your sound. Maybe it's not working, maybe it's like intermittent, or maybe it's going in and going out, or maybe you hear it like echoing, or maybe it's, um, it's out of sync when you're watching a movie or a show, or maybe the sound or basically uh, the voice sounds like, like really funny. Maybe it sounds like someone's talking like, um, like one of the guys on Alvin and Chipmunks. Anyway, I'm gonna give you guys five solutions to get you up and running. By the end of this video, I'm gonna say at least 80% of you guys should be up and running, okay? Okay, so step number one, what we're gonna do is make sure your TV is on, go ahead and grab your remote, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a special key combination here where it's just basically gonna um, restart the TV. Now watch very closely, okay? So the special key combination is this. We wanna tap the home button five times, one, two, three, four, five, up once, rewind twice, fast forward twice, okay? Again, home, one, two, three, four, five, up once, Rewind twice, fast forward twice. We'll do it together, ready? Okay, here we go. Home button here. One, two, three, four, five. Up once, rewind twice, fast forward twice. Now go ahead and let the TV do this, whatever it's doing right now. And now it's gonna freeze on the screen. And, that, and then after, um, after this, what's gonna happen is it's gonna reboot. It's gonna reboot twice. This whole process takes about one minute, okay? So it's frozen right now, just wait. And again, it's going to reboot two times. Okay, so just reboot it the first time. Now it's going to go ahead and get ready to boot another uh, second time here. Okay, now this is the second time it's rebooting. Okay, now basically just wait until everything is up and running. And then after, after everything is up, go ahead and test the TV, see if the sound is working properly. Okay, if you guys are still down, we're going to go to step number two. Now, step number two is again, have the TV on. And then what you want to do while the TV is on, what I want you to do is just wherever your TV is plugged into, like mine's a wall outlet, TV is on, you wanna go ahead and pop, pull the plug out just like this, wait 30 seconds, okay? After 30 seconds, go ahead and pop it back in, turn the TV on, and then see if your sound is working correctly. If not, we're gonna to go to step number three. All right, so you're still having issues, so now we're gonna to go to the next step. Next step here, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna see, and um, well, we're gonna perform a system update if you do have an update available. So grab your remote, let's press on the home button here, and now you want to go all the way down to settings. So go down, 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 down. Then you want to move over to the right. And then from here, we want to go all the way down to where it says system. So go all the way down, down, down. There's system right here. Now go ahead and move over to the right. And now we're going to go down to where it says down here, system update. So go down to system update right here. And then go ahead and click on OK on your remotes. And now you want to go ahead and give it a quick check here and see if you have a, um, an update. If you do, go ahead and download and install it. Okay, my software is up to date. Anyway, if you have an um, update, go ahead and download and install it. And, if, and uh, once it's done updating, see if your sound is working, okay? If not, then we're gonna go to the next step here. So for this next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reset your um, audio and picture. So first thing is grab your remote again, go ahead and tap on the home button. You want to go down to settings, so go down to settings, oops, settings, move over to the right. Then from here, we're going to go all the way down to system, so go to system right here, move over to the right. Now we want to go all the way down to advanced system settings, which is right here. Now go ahead and move over to the right, and now you want to move over to the right again. And right here it says reset TV audio slash picture settings. And then from here, what you want to do to, um, to go ahead and uh, reset the audio and picture is you want to tap the play, the uh, play pause, pause button right here. You want to tap it three times, just like it says on the screen here, okay? Go ahead and tap it three times and it's going to go ahead and reset the audio and picture. Once you do that and your TV is back up and running, go ahead and see if the sound is working, okay? If it's still not working, then the last thing I have for you to do is an actual factory reset on the whole entire TV as if you bought a brand new and took it out of the box. And how you do that you just have to go into the um, same area here. We, if we just go back, you can see where it says factory reset right there under advanced system settings. So if we move over to the right again. Now we just want to go down one more. Now um, factory reset everything. And then if you want to go ahead and put more factory reset, you just need to simply go ahead and move over here. And the TV should give you some kind of four digit code like mine is 6829. So I put in two, um, 2869. Then I go down here and click on OK, and it's going to perform a factory reset. Once it's done with the reset, then I'll be in the beginning of the setup where I have to choose my language, my region, got to set up my Wi-Fi passwords, and all that. 
Anyway, at least 80% of you guys should be up and running, okay? So if it worked for you, give me a thumbs up and let me know what stuff you think worked for you. And if it didn't work, give me a thumbs down, okay? We should have an 80% thumbs up. Good luck, guys.